and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the Control Shift F1 keyboard shortcut for expanding and collapsing both the ribbon commands as well as the ribbon tabs. So with that, let's get started. I'm gonna bring up Excel here. And in our last video, we looked at the keyboard shortcut Control F1, which would minimize and then re-display those Excel tabs here. Now, if you want to hide both the Windows ribbon and the tabs, you would press Control Shift F1, and it would show just your Excel spreadsheet. This can be really useful when you're working with large data sets and or working on a smaller screen, and you want the most amount of screen space as possible. So if you want to bring back your window command and your window tabs, you would press again, Control Shift F1, and it would bring those back. So Control F1 will minimize the commands, and Control Shift F1 will minimize the commands as well as the tabs. Now, of course, as is often the case, if you didn't know the keyboard shortcut or you didn't want to look it up, you could come here to your actual Windows menu, and next to the system buttons, you could click this little individual button, and you could go to auto hide ribbon. The advantage of auto hiding the ribbon is that you can click and it would hide itself, and then when you click off, it would again, come back. So we could click here and we could go to show command tabs or we can use the keyboard shortcut control shift F1. In this video, we looked at control shift F1, control shift F1 to undo that. And then we can auto hide the ribbon as well. The advantage of auto hiding the ribbon is that if you click here, it would bring up your, your ribbon and your commands and then you can click out of it and it would go away. So I generally leave the commands as well as the window ribbon on, but it's totally up to you and your, your workflow, your work preference, your individual choice. In our next video, we'll look at how to activate the access key boxes, which we've already looked at in previous videos. We'll cover it formally and how to use the alt key in order to activate those individual items. So check that out in our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.